As I reach inside and dare to be great, I dance, I yell, and I celebrate. Hello, and welcome back to another amazing, fantastic, incredible episode of Breakthroughs Before Breakfast. My name is Andrew the Great, and this week we're going to be discussing how to apply military principles into your business. Dwight D. Eisenhower once said, In preparing for battle, I have found that plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. Which leads me to this week's distinction. Para, P-E-R-A. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's break each one of these down individually. First, we have plan. Now, when in business, for obvious reasons, you should have a plan. That's why they call it a business plan. What are the objectives? What are the goals that you want to accomplish? The results that you want to produce? In Alice in Wonderland, the cartoon version, the old school Disney version, there's a scene when Alice is walking along and she comes to a fork in the road. And she stops and the Cheshire Cat appears. And she looks up at the Cheshire Cat and she asks where she ought to go next. Well, that depends a great deal on where you want to go, replies the cat. Oh, well, I don't much care where, so long as I get somewhere, says Alice. Oh, you're sure to do that, replies the cat, so long as you keep walking. Many businesses continue to wander aimlessly once they hit a certain point. See, they've planned up until a certain point in their business, but they've failed to plan about what's the next level. What are they going to be doing after that? And after that. So the key here is to have both short-term and long-term planning. But the bottom line is plan, plan, plan. Next, we have execute. Now that we have a plan, it's important to take action on that plan. Now, you may find that as you're going through the plan, you may have to have some things adjusted, and that's okay. It's okay to adjust along the way. After all, a spaceship's off target 99% of the time, but it's constantly making these slight adjustments so that it gets to where it needs to be going. So, the idea here is that while your plan doesn't necessarily have to be going perfectly smoothly, you do know the general direction that you're moving in, and most importantly, that you're moving. See, I believe that, as people, we all have incredible ideas, but few are those that write them down, and even fewer are those that take action on those ideas. So my challenge to you for this week is this. Take action. Stand out above your peers and take action starting now. So. Now that we've made a plan, and we've taken action on that plan, it's time to review. Now, odd as this may sound, this is probably one of the most underutilized principles in business, and one of the most commonly used principles in high-level athletics. Review, review, review. Review the execution. What worked? What didn't work? What needs to be improved upon? And what needs to be taken out entirely? The key here is about reviewing every single thing that you can so you can improve the most possible for the next time that you take action. Lastly, we have action. After you've, after you've reviewed and compared the plan to the execution, you now have a great framework for setting up your next plan, allowing the next execution and the next review to be better and better and better with each cycle. Isn't it funny how all these things tie together? If you're the captain of your business, run a tight ship. That's what this week's world leader would have done, just as he did in World War I and World War II, where he was the first military personnel to be assigned to the U.S. Tank Division. One of the greatest military generals of all time, General George S. Patton. George Patton was born November 11, 1885, and died December 21, 1945. Patton was a four-star general of the U.S. Army who was an outstanding practitioner of mobile tank warfare in the European and Mediterranean theaters during World War II. His strict discipline, toughness, and self-sacrifice elicited exceptional pride within his ranks, and the general was colorfully referred to as Old Blood and Guts by his men. A 1909 graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point and a descendant of a Virginia family with a long mil military tradition, Patton became a keen student of the American Civil War, especially its great cavalry leaders, an interest that likely contributed to the st strategy of bold, highly mobile operations associated with his name. After serving with the U.S. Tank Corps in World War I, Patton became a vigorous proponent of tank warfare. He was made a tank brigade commander in July of 1940. On April 4, 1941, he was promoted to Major General, and two weeks later, he was made commander of the 2nd Armored Division. He was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant 
general in March of 1943 and led the U.S. 7th Army to Sicily, employing his armor in a rapid drive that captured Palermo in July. The apogee of his career came with a dramatic sweep of his 3rd Army across northern France in the summer of 1944 in a campaign marked by great initiative, ruthless drive, and disregard of classic military rules. Prior to the Normandy invasion, he was publicly placed in command in the 1st U.S. Army Group, a fictitious army whose supposed marshalling in eastern England helped to deceive German commanders into thinking that the invasion would take place in a region off France. Patton's armored units were not operational until August 1st, almost two months after D-Day, but by the end of the month they had captured Mayenne, Laval, Le Mans, Reims, and Chalons. They did not stop until they hurtled across the German defenses at Nancy and Metz in November. They then joined the 7th Army in sweeping the Saar and the Palatinate, where they took 100,000 prisoners. Hi, and thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more about how to apply Patton's military success into business, you might want to check out the book, Patton's One Minute Messages by Charles M. Province. It's quick, it's super easy to read in small little bite-sized chunks. Yum! Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week with the next week, another incredible episode of Breakthroughs Before Breakfast.